everyone, Laura Messiah, your personal fashion stylist, and we've got a good old fashioned fashion question on deck. Here we go. Hey Lauren, how do you feel about fashion subscription boxes like Stitch Fix, Wantable, Keaton Row, all of those? What you think? All right. Beautiful question. You guys are the best, seriously. Now, I've actually done quite a bit of research on subscription boxes, so I do have an answer for you. Now, for those of you that don't know, there, since personal styling has become very common, you know, at first, like, no one thought that a regular person could have a stylist, it was only for celebrities, and then personal stylists came onto the scene, like myself, and everyday people started to understand that they too could have their very own stylist. With the popularity of personal stylists, then came these virtual subscription personal styling services. So really like personal stylists are everywhere from your department store, giving you advice on a online retailer to actually shipping boxes of clothing right to your door for you to try on every month at your leisure and return what you don't want. So me, being the permanent skeptic, I'm like, um, I don't know. Like, I don't think that a complete stranger, stranger stylist that doesn't know you from a hole in the ground except for this little profile that you made could successfully send you a box of stuff every month for you to try on and actually like. So I put on my little researcher hat and I signed up for a bunch of these different subscription services. Like if one existed, I signed up for it, spent the money and gave it a try. Here are my opinions. Again, just my opinion. I know people that have used it and have completely different opinions than myself. Out of all of them that I tried, my favorite by far was Keaton Row. And a ton of my School of Style graduates work for Keaton Row, so maybe I'm a little bit biased, but actually a lot of my grads work for the other companies as well, so I really am just picking my favorite. My experience with Keaton Row has been that my stylist really took the time to figure out who I was. She looked at my Pinterest boards, my social media, she asked me questions. So I felt like they did a little bit more research on the client. You know, the other services, it was, you could tell it was algorithm based, fill out this survey and then, you know, do you like this shirt or this shirt? And then they kind of put you in this box and then sent you a box, you know, based on, your preferences, but they didn't really dive deeper, where Keaton Road did dive deeper. So I really liked that. However, it was still tough for me. Like the first selections that she sent, a lot of them I didn't like. I had to provide a lot of feedback. Some of the stuff, honestly, I just kept because I felt bad. I'm like, God, she did all this work. Like I have to keep some stuff. So I did. A lot of it I never ended up wearing. Some of it I, I did end up wearing. Um, but I do know people that use Keaton Row and are like diehards, and that's because they've been working with the same stylist over and over and over for months or years at a time, and now they know, they know that client, and every recommendation they pick works, and it's wonderful. You know, for me, like, I'm not gonna invest that much energy in it because I'm a personal stylist for a living, I don't need a stylist, um, but out of all of them, they were the best. Now, I won't go through every single one I'll try. I, I've tried, I'll just talk about the popular ones. Stitch Fix was another one that I went through and I was the most disappointed with that subscription box. And I know the people that work at Stitch Fix, they're totally nice, I, they have a really great business model, but it just didn't work for me. The clothing brands that they work with are the brands just aren't in line with the types of clothing that I like to wear. So I'm a girl that likes to invest in her wardrobe. I like contemporary pieces, designer pieces. This was more on the low end of things, things that you could find at like Nordstrom Rack, just kind of those no name-ish brands. Um, and the items I was getting, I was like, I would not 
I would not wear, <laughs> wear this. Like, I don't know what your computer told you, but I'm not wearing a purple poncho. That was one of the things they sent me. They did send me a really good pair of jeans that I still have and wear to this day, so that was a major score. Um, but it's like you get five items a month and you're like, oh, I hate all of them. I have to wait till next month. And you know, you give feedback and they get better as time goes on. So for me, it's just not something that I care to put that type of energy in. And also you're only getting pieces and they give you ideas on how to wear them with different things. But if I want to be styled, I want you to tell me what to do. I want you to pick out the clothes, pull together the outfits, build a wardrobe and not just give me those monthly like, yay, I got a new item. Now what do I do? Then the box comes, yay, I got something else. So it just isn't a fit for me and my lifestyle. But again, I'm coming from a totally different space. I literally do this for a living and I love to shop. And I just, I work with my clients in a very different way. So that's just my opinion on subscription boxes. Again, I know people that love them, love them, love them. I would give you the, you the advice of just try it. Like, just try it. They don't charge you for the box, they charge you for what you keep. So give it a shot. If you don't like it, then try something else. So there you go. There's the answer to your question. Hope it was helpful. If you have a question for me, ask me, drop it in the comment section below, and I will do my very best to answer it right here on video. Speaking of videos, you know what to do. Subscribe, there's a little red button, hit it and you'll be subscribed to this channel. That way you won't miss any videos because I'm pushing these puppies out three times a week. So get your subscribe on and I will catch you in the next video.